in the Wollombone district, but probably a lot of other basalt country districts, earwigs are, uh, that's our biggest battle, year in, year out. We're finding that they are territorial to certain areas in paddocks, and if you can monitor those areas early enough, you can jump on top of them. Monitoring in canola is really about getting out in the paddock and, and having a good look. It can take so little damage to cause significant loss and if insects do come in there that you don't know about, they can be a disaster. So something as quick as a 15 minute job of getting a trap out and actually alerting you to a pest problem, I think that's quite good. With our lighter country, once we've sown the crop, if the subsoil moisture and the topsoil moisture isn't sort of meeting up, where slugs aren't really an issue for us. But in those wet years, that's when we run into dramas there. And back here on the red country, anywhere where there's rocks, trees, grass, anything, there's uh, earwigs are a major problem. So it's monitoring from the get-go, really, within 10 days or sowing. And we're doing that through throwing just wet hessian bags down and looking at them in the mornings and just seeing what's actually under those bags. Most farmers really want to take the reliance off the insecticides they, they are using, so understanding what beneficials are there in the system are quite important and actually learning how to harness them is going to become really important. To me, the key advice for monitoring insects is having a plan and don't wait to start looking at the paddock when the canola crop's coming out of the ground. Know as much as you can about insects and know as much as you can about the soil types and the landscape on the farm that you manage. Think about the control options that can be implemented to try to avoid insecticide being used and then know what insecticides might need to be used when that comes. Go to the description bar below for the latest information, links and resources.